our favorite part of Munich is always English or Garden. Eight or nine times we've been here. It's outside and there's there's no litter, there's no danger, there's no nothing except people yeah. being really, really relaxed. Munich's English Garden is the largest in-town municipal park in the world. But when you're here, you completely forget you're still in a metropolitan city. Here you'll find jogging paths, rowboats, musicians, a nude beach that I will not show you for your own good. But the main attraction here are the beer gardens. So if you don't have any traditional fare at a beer garden, then you're really missing out on a true local experience. Beer gardens started as uh, trees planted above beer cellars long ago, and it just helped to keep the beer colder. One day, somebody put a table under that tree, and voila, beer gardens were born. Perfect place to throw back a cool one and have some traditional Bavarian food. The birds like it. Huh? So the deal is simple. You come on in, you get your uh, order, you put it on a tray, you order your gigantic beer, and uh, you go sit down and have a good time. I'll have the double bypass surgery. The food here is amazing. So good. Tastes so good. Delicious. Delicious. Schweinshaxen is uh, the most popular, I guess. It's pork and it's quite fat, but tastes really good. <laughs> it's really good, but it's not really healthy. <laughs> And it was after an unhealthy lunch here where things have taken a bit of a turn. All right, folks, now just because we do a travel show doesn't mean it's all peachy and creamy. Uh, we're travelers, too, and bad things happen to good travelers sometimes. Uh, for instance, I somehow managed to just lose my wallet. It's uh, officially gone. Now we're regrouping. Which brings me to travel tip number one. Don't keep your passport, your credit cards, all your cash in your wallet and on you when you're traveling. Just a block off Marienplatz is Peterskirche, the oldest church in Munich. It was burned down in 1327 and bombed during World War II, but after some serious restoration, old Peter is still standing strong. Please help me to never lose my wallet again, especially in a foreign country, because it's really not fun. Thank you for the beer. Amen. Now, there's a great view from up on top of the church, but it costs $100 to bring a camera up there and shoot, which obviously I can't afford. Um, but here's a cheaper way to get a good view. 